एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बी हाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विद न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऐप दिस ऐप नेम इज डी एम एस एस फॉर एंड्रॉयड सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब यू दैट हाउ यू इंस्टॉल्ड द ऐप ऑन एंड्रॉयड फोन एंड हाउ यू कन फिगर the app to make the camera live so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel and please press the bell icon so that you get all the not notification of upcoming videos and keep watching so basically first question is what is dmss for android actually is so basically it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on mobile it is also used to monitor the cctv cameras on remote location over the internet so what should you do for this just open your play store okay and just click search for dmss when you do this here it this is our app just click on the install and when you click on install and after that you should wait for a few minutes so that it installed completely and once it once it is installed then we can tell you that how you can figure to make the camera live okay so keep watching let the download to be finished and installation to be finished now it is installing again you wait again you should wait for a few uh, minute here and let the uh, installation to be completed now it is installed and it is checking for that whether it is in safe and so it is safe just click on open and after that you find a little things here just scroll to left and here when you come to the default page just click on this button this arrow and here you should select your region like in my case i am from india so i just select india and just click done and just read the this user service agreement and just click on this after reading and click next and again you want to watch videos then you should otherwise just skip and here you should find the sign up and if you are a first time user then you should you should sign up that you should enter here in email id and here you should enter the password and just click on the get verification code when you click on the get verification code and just go to the check your email and here over here you find your uh, verification code and you should enter here once you do this this is all about sign up and now what should you do you should log in with that username and password so just click on that and here I should enter my email address and the password. So when I enter uh, username and the password, so here you should find the two option. This this plus button on the top of the corner. and here you find the add device option both are the same so you should click on any of them so i just click on the this add option add device option when i do this it is it ask me for a setting to so just you should give set allow access while so i give the access and again here you should see that it ask is give me a to to uh, to scan the qr code so if you are in front of the device you are adding means whether you are in, in front of uh, your nvr or abi cam then you should do this 
and here at top of the corner you find this gallery pub option just click on this and again there are setting and again you should click allow then you should also get it from the directory okay and now here you find that man manually enter serial number if you're far from the device and you don't have even the QR code sent by the someone so here you should enter uh, manual uh, serial number so in my case I just have yeah, I just enter my serial number here like So here is my serial number and after that you should leave the security code empty or you can enter if you have and after that just click on next. When you do this you find a lot of wireless cam, wired cam, lot of options available. So what device you are adding means this is a serial number of uh, NVR so I just select NVR and just click when you click on NVR here it asks for a device name, username and the password. So both this serial number username and device password is all about all about device means device you are adding like nvr dvr ipcam whatever and you can put device name anything that you able to remember and here it asks for the username you can put username okay and the here you ask for the password so you should enter the password of the device okay so and after that just click on the save Now again here you find it, it takes time. Now this is connected, just click on the done. And here you find that this is the interface, this is our camera is live and this is interface what it look like. So here you find a lot of options like uh, uh, recording, when you click on this it is start, download recording, here you find that uh, snapshot option. okay here you find that the snapshot option just click on this so it take a snapshot and you find the many option uh, like this okay so when you again just back when you if this is the interface of the software after adding of the device so here you find the live playback door alarm many many options like that if you want to search a playback just click on the playback and again you find a lot of options so by this here you you are able to access the playback of the device and so hope you understand that how you configure the software to make the camera live so thanks for watching once again please like share and subscribe thank you have a nice day.